Yeah, that was a hell of a win. Uh, didn't play great, obviously. You know, they think they had with 13 more shots than us. Uh, the turnovers, the sloppy turnovers, uh, the offensive rebounds, even the execution down the stretch uh, before overtime uh, was, was sloppy. Um, then the last play, they ran it right. Uh, you still need Joel to make a fadeaway jump shot. It was really supposed to be deeper or two, but he, he said he felt like he can get out there. So good win for us. We'll take it. What was the difference in the second half for him? It looked like Toronto really just... We got to the elbows more, you know, um, and he was more decisive. I, I, I thought we had him deep four or five times in the first half, and he was trying to get into his move. And when you get the ball in the paint, there's no more move. They just go be aggressive and big. And we talked about that at halftime. Just go be aggressive. Quick decision, quick moves for him. Uh, then if they reach, it's a foul. But if you if you want to try to dance in the paint, um, they're going to be able to reach. And I thought he made the adjustment. It seemed like James did like a lot a lot of good things for you guys. James, James, James kept it together for a long while uh, for us uh, with his attacks, his, his decision-making. Tyrese had the one stretch. And then, you know, the, the unsung hero, I don't even know what he scored. But Tobias Harris tonight was unbelievable. All over the floor defensively. He did so many little things, set the last pick of the game. Uh, he was he was fantastic. Doc, you just mentioned Tobias. The job he did on Pascal defensively. Yeah. I mean, in the regular season, it seemed like Pascal was having his way. And yeah. Was yeah, listen, man, these guys are all smart. Pass is smart. Tobias, they watch film. Uh, we watch film. Uh, we make adjustments on, on trying to guard him. The guy's a load. I mean, Pascal, he's a hell of a basketball player. Uh, but to put one guy on him, basically, we tried to match his minutes, which is asking a lot. Uh, and for him to have the energy at the end of the game to steal guard was, was fantastic. You sort of touched on it, but just how would you evaluate the, uh, the crunch time execution? Maybe just what did you learn about yeah, that? Yeah, I, I just thought uh, we had opportunities that we didn't take. You know, uh, there was one. It's a great growing moment for Tyrese. Uh, Joel threw him the ball, and he had a drive. And instead, he just caught it and threw it back out to Joel at the three-point line. Like, the, obviously, that's not what we want. But everything for us, again, is new, and, and we're learning. Tyrese is learning. Um, we we saw things, obviously, execution-wise that we can do better, for sure. Uh, what did you think the root of the, the turnover problem was? Is that just sloppiness on your Yeah, but give them credit. I thought they, they came in. They were very aggressive. They were reaching. I, I did – I didn't think we were solid with the ball. We talked about it this morning. We, we told them, listen, every time you turn, they're coming. They're coming. Yeah. Any slow move will allow their hands to get in. And I thought, you know, Tobias had a couple early. James had a couple. Uh, Joel. Uh, the fact that we won this game with that many turnovers and offensive rebounds says a lot about our team. How did you feel about your depth tonight? Um, I mean, how difficult was it? Well, it was difficult, number one, without Matisse, right? Um, and Ferg is, is a guy that we have no issues playing. So we were going to put him in, uh, and we will if we need to. Um, the foul trouble killed us, though. You know, uh, James and someone else, I don't even know, Danny, are in foul trouble, uh, killed our rotation, you know, and so we had to extend minutes uh, probably to a point that we didn't want to. I think Tobias had to go on the floor for about three minutes when Pas Pascal was not on the floor. That was not in our plans, uh, but we had no choice. Speaking of, speaking of Danny, um, did, have you ever seen him that animated like in the first half, like when he got called that back? And no, well, no. Kind of yeah, I, didn't, I don't know what happened. I, they were saying someone hit him with an elbow. Um, but again, like I, I told our guys, listen, you got to keep your head. You, you just do. You know, one point can be the difference in these games right now. Did, did you feel like after, sorry, after, after the first quarter, even headed into halftime, that you'd like had weathered a little bit of a storm? And, I don't know what we did, honestly, in the first half. Um, I just knew it was just a 10-point game. Like, nothing. We did nothing, in my opinion, well. Uh, defensively, we were losing guys. We were losing threes. We, the execution was, it was, it was, it was awful. And so, honestly, it was one of those games at halftime, I was just looking at the score. I ignored, just ignored the first half. It's gone. I told our guys, can't get that back, thank gosh. Um, and just go out and play. So, when, when Joel goes on a run like that, like in the third quarter, like in the first quarter last game, is there yeah. anybody else in the league that can dominate a game like that? That many, you know, I mean, especially with his size, 
and the way he was doing it. I mean, he was doing it at the basket. He was doing it at the elbows. He was doing it at the three. Um, you know, but we, I, I didn't get on him, but I got on him at halftime. Like, this is – you're getting the ball in your spots, you know. I think he keeps looking for double teams instead of being aggressive. And I think that might have been a breakthrough for him. Uh, in the third quarter, he didn't care if they were coming or not. He was going to be aggressive, and I thought that was good. Talk about wiping the game away at halftime. I mean, obviously, it's a pretty nice luxury to have a weapon like that, but you can just go yeah. and he can track you back in the game. Yeah, him and James. I thought James was good, too. Uh, Tyrese had a little moment there, too. But, uh, you know, it was funny. At halftime, they knew we didn't play well. I mean, uh, you know what we were shooting at halftime? We were shooting 55%. And, and – because we just turn the ball over every time and we were shooting 55% and not running our offense. So you felt good about that. Uh, but, you know, listen, that's a game we won, but you can't win many playoff games playing like that. How many, how, many, few, how many of you walking through the hallway, just dig it out, dig it out? Yeah. Just cap, that just yeah, cap? that was my mantra all game. Like this is, you could see it early. This is going to be a, a nasty, tight game. And just hang in there and dig it out. We said it a hundred times. Just dig it out. Just dig this game out. Um, and I told them, I don't know how we're going to do that, uh, but we're going to do it. And, and they hung in there. Kind of on that note, in the first half, I mean, how big is to have a guy like Harden to have the ball in his hand? It's just huge. I mean, when you have Joel and Harden, obviously, uh, because they're human. Both of them are going to play well every night. Uh, when one's not, you can go to the other one. Uh, it's a hell of a luxury. How much did the role guys do tonight to keep you guys in it, forcing overtime without ever? Losing? They were great. I, I tell you, uh, we decided to go zone that one stretch, and it, it got us back in the game. I mean, it stopped them. It slowed them down. Um, and I thought that was with our bench unit, you know, because they were scoring at will on our bench unit for a moment. But I thought the, the zone kind of slowed their pace down, and it slowed the game down for us. An impromptu thing, like – did you go into the game thinking that that was a possibility? No, we work on it every day. Um, and it's something we've done and been pretty successful at. Uh, I thought we waited a little bit. You know, I told Dan, they got 38 in, in like 12 minutes. So, uh, And sometimes, you know, you run zone to just change the tempo of the game. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Now, and they have shot makers, so they made a couple of shots on it. Jeff, you said this one was pretty rough and nasty. You expect that to at another level on Saturday now? Yeah, yeah, this is the playoffs. You got to expect the other team's best. You know, you really do. You got to expect them to make the putt, and then you got to win anyway. That's 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 got to be our mindset.